Now, let's look at the comprehensive performance data pCloudy captures. We will enable the recording for capturing 60 plus performance metrics. This will happen in two phases. First, we will begin by executing a customer journey, after which we can see the detailed performance visualization. We will first click on the app performance module here and select the preferred choice of device. Now I will select the application and click on connect. We will now enable the recording to start tracking the data at the backend and begin the testing. Here, as I'm going through the flow, all the data points are being collected at the backend. And as you can see, the goal here is to mimic user behavior and not to worry about the data at this point. As I'm going through the flow, the magic is happening behind the scenes, which you will now see in a bit. Now that I'm done with my flow, I am ready to look at the result. Here is our detailed performance dashboard. This is not just a plain report, it is a visualization platform. This starts with our summary dashboard where our AI-powered analysis engine has captured the most important issues for you to look at across several categories. In this case, it has captured on three aspects, namely on the memory, frame, and file transfer related insights. Also, there are various metrics captured under app insights, UI performance, and network performance. For example, here, I can see a nearly 23% spike in the maximum CPU usage. Let's look further into app insights to see what's going on here. Here is our amazing time series data analysis across 20 plus parameters. At the CPU peak of nearly 23%, I can see in the screen recording that it was while clicking on the delivery option. I can also see the corresponding count of total frames, memory consumption with the native Java and code heaps, along with metrics related to network latency and battery. Also, I can see all the 20 metrics at each point in time collated here. Imagine having to try to collect all these data points from different sources. pCloudy's performance dashboard gives all this to you in a single click, making correlating between issues much easier. Next is UI Insights, which is again powered by our AI model, which detects the time taken during each transition. UI rendering time is critical for customer experience, and here you can see where exactly is a slow page transition and the time taken during that period along with the video. Next is the network section. It offers a detailed look into the API calls, the status distribution, and for this application, it has insights on the slowest endpoints and the large file transfers. Our AI model can also give insights on other aspects that hinder your app's performance based on its network data capture. I can now click on the large file transfers here and see the APIs that may be hindering the performance. I can then click on each individual API and have all the information required to share with the dev team, like the method, status, and header information. And finally, we have a log analysis engine, another ML model which detects and categorizes all the log anomalies. This is another big time save from having to go through thousands of lines of logs. So what you're seeing here is a collation of metrics and key data points presented as easily shareable visualizations for your dev teams, enhancing transparency and saving time. This will revolutionize how you approach app testing, making it faster, smarter, and more efficient.